Hi everyone, this is Vinita from Soyuz. Here I'll be explaining you how to automate Microsoft Excel with Worksoft Certified. In real time situation, we come across various scenarios where we need to add, remove, verify and manipulate some data in an Excel sheet and eventually save it. This can be achieved with Worksoft Certified. To begin with, you need to have Microsoft Office and works of certified any version installed in your machine. Then you need to have an application created with the name MS Office and interface Office. Now under application you need to create a window with the name Office Automation Window under which you will create an object with the name Office Automation Object. Finally link the application with the project. Creating application window and object is just a one time job. Once you create it, you don't have to do it again. Now you are all set to develop a process. Let me show you what exactly we are going to do in an Excel sheet. Let me open the Excel sheet. Here under column C, I want to enter a text. I'll copy this text till row 8 and save the excel sheet and close it. The same operation we are going to do with works of certify. I have already created a process. I'll execute and show it to you. Before that, let me clear this data. Now let's go to certify. Let me run the process. As you saw, it enters the data under C column. Let's go and check the Excel sheet. As you can see, I entered the data under column C till row 8. Let's see how the process was created. Let me take you through the process. As you can see application version here is MS Office 1.0. Remember in the beginning I told you that we need to have an application window and an object created before developing a process. This is the one. Let me show you where exactly I created the application. Here I have created an application called MS Office under which I have created a window called Office Automation window and under that I have again created an object called Excel Automation object. Once you create all this you need to link it with the project. Let's go back to the process and see the steps in detail. Here the first step is to open an excel sheet. For that you need an action called open workbook and the parameter required is file name. Under this parameter you have to give the path for the file. The next step is to maximize the excel sheet. For that you need an action called set window state and set it to maximized. Now to enter a particular data to a particular cell you need to use an action called input into cell. For that you need to be more specific which parameter you have to use. For that you have to mention row as 1 and column as C. Under 
parameter value you need to enter the value here i have used a variable called company and i have passed the value from a record set here now to select the range where you want to copy the data you need to specify the range c1 to c8 and the same variable you need to put here to enter the data once that is done the next step is to save the workbook and to cl close the workbook not only entering a data like this we have many other options like finding a row open a new workbook add a sheet store cell verify data we can perform many actions like this that's it for today thank you so much